Do you see that city? Das ist Walter. What do you think of this building now? It's a probably a building with a lot of responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. You know this building? Oh yeah, I know this building very, very well. <laughs> Especially from inside. And I know every step of this building, yeah. every floor of this building. <laughs> The state or, or the stage of the building at that time was uh, quite clearly clearly represent what's happening in the my country and in which necessity the Bosnian people was when we made decision to took our weapons and defend our independence and our freedom and to defend our intent actually for democracy in that time the state or stage of the building was representing that really, really quite clear. Oh, come on. I saw your message on YouTube and also I had the information from my friends that actually you're looking for me. I never understood why. I mean, there is a hundred and hundred thousand other peoples who took a similar role in the Bosnian conflict. And I don't know why I actually, I deserve that place to be your choice of interest. Very, very terrible moment when you take a gun when you must shoot but if I don't shoot him he won't shoot me or some mothers with child of 15 months what I see when I'm looking sniper Animal. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say now. It's very, very hard. It's very, it's very, very difficult question. It's very difficult. What I see, I see the dead women and child who killed the animals from the hills. From the hills, I see Thank <laughs> you. 
Tunikat. It, it was another life. Yeah. Eighteen years later, we're still living like we lived before the war, but there is no people. Here is the first line. Hundred meters from here is enemy. In the middle of the town, in the center of the town. In the middle of the town. Yeah. This is not war between uh, Serbian and Muslims. Uh, I'm Serbian. Yeah. And I'm fighting for democratic, for freedom, for all people in this town. And it's very wrong, says. This is a war between Serbian and Muslims. This is a war uh, between peoples and animals. Animals is uh, Chetniks or Serbian extremists. C'était la classe principale. C'était la place de mon frère. Et moi, j'étais ici. Ici, j'ai gribouillé Zorka, ou quelque chose comme ça. Que j'enlève mon casque. Tu as été étudiant Oui, j'ai été étudiant. J'ai étudié la biologie. We fight for freedom, but what, what's going to happen now? Wrong people in the right places. Wrong, wrong people make money, not right people. Like everywhere, all the world around. Nothing is special here. People from the town escape all the world around, from Canada to Australia to America. Real friends, and I got more friends now all the world around than here in Israel. That's the point. Why we are shooting in each other? Nobody can answer. And Goran is still my friend, 18 years later. Nothing can separate us, even political. Fucking, fucking politicians. They made from these people here poor people. But what are we gonna do? Everybody lose. Nobody win except criminals. Nobody. She was more than my friend, really. She was more than my friend. I haven't been on this place from, from 1994. I was in love for many years with this girl, but we never been together. <laughs>
where we're going. I would like to show you another tower. Yeah. We will visit actually today the mid centuries the kings of the Bosnia castle called Bobovac. What do you think about the war? In, uh, about the Bosnian war? A bad thing happens to bad people all the time. I mean, I'm sad that actually we didn't have a possibility to find a better to so solution to actually uh, solve the problem. Uh, unfortunately, the Bosnian people, we didn't have a choice. We've been forced to take a place in the war. I mean, I didn't want to take place in the war but I didn't have a choice and suddenly I had to go in the boots I had to put the uniform on, on myself I had to take the weapons that I actually didn't want to take I have to do, join actually the reserve police forces I have actually the nightmare was happened I mean no food no electricity no water illnesses gunshot I've been gunshot I lost the uh, the friends I lost so many dear people I lost the uh, dreams I mean uh, for four years of siege in Sarajevo every day bombing uh, I mean uh, killed children uh, killed children by the Chetniks who was unselectively launch their grenades without any reason I mean, they will just sit, they will be uh, bored, they will drunk, and they, they will just fill their cannons and they will launch the grenades on the Sarajevo, just like that. I mean, uh, you know, I didn't kill. I was neutralized the threat to the Bosnian citizens. Yes, I used my skills to place very precise shots on the long distances to neutralize the threat, but I'm never killed. I've never been a human hunter, human hunter. I've been good warrior. I've been good warrior with the obligations to defend and protect the lives of the Bosnian people. But I don't think about myself as a killer. I, I don't have a problem with my conscious. I don't have a problem with my conscious and if uh, if, if someone asks me or if I ask myself what I will do in the case that again happened what was happened, I will tell them I will do the same. I will do the same. Again. 18, 18 years ago you made a very good question. What I see when I look through the scope? My colleagues, they said I see the enemies. I didn't see the enemies. I told you what I saw. I saw the enemy on the other side. And I saw my dead people. I never saw the man on the other side of the scope. Never. Because he is not a man. He's not a human being. He's a threat that was... A, well, what has to be stopped. He was a threat that was that was needed to be neutralized. Yeah, I remember. The beasts, they never had the faces. They never had the faces. We spoke uh, er earlier. Those guys that I neutralized or that I knocked down, I don't remember that. I remember more the guys who actually find a way to run away or escape. Uh, from the bottom of my finger, from the bottom of my trigger. Those guys I remember. I don't remember the guys actually who deserve what they deserved.